Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool bubble effect inside of After Effects. All you need for this effect is the Sapphire plugins. So it's a pretty simple effect and first off what we're going to do is go over to our composition settings and for this one I'm going to make it 4k composition so 3, 4 that should be 4k and then obviously it will vary for other projects so if you're doing a 1080 then I would just keep it 1920 by 1080 um let's see frame rate we'll do 29 actually 23 um resolution you can keep it on quarter kind of depends on your pc duration 30 seconds is fine this stuff you can just leave the same all right now you want to grab the clip that you're going to use for this video once that's imported you can just drag it right into your composition all right so once the video is in the composition you just want to trim it to where you want the video to start and end so that seems good i'll cut it right there it's just that little clip right there you can trim the composition down where the video ends right click on this trim comp to work area now we can go into here go to the roto brush double click the layer so it brings you into this new composition and what you can do is highlight your subject in this case is this car right here and just try to do your best it doesn't need to be too perfect all right there we go also if you are in the after effects 2020 version and maybe 2021 i think is a 2.0 version and then i would select the best so you're going to get the best quality tracking so just play it and let it just sort of render it all right so once you have finished the tracking and like the selection of your mask you can go over to the freeze and freeze all the frames all right there we go it is done so now you can go back to your original composition right here and you can see the car is masked out by itself now so you can just take the layer and duplicate it Control c Control v is what i used right there delete the bottom layer rotoscope right there or the roto brush i mean and then on the top layer this should have the roto brush yep there we go so now you have two layers one with the roto brush on top one without it and then you want to duplicate the one with the roto brush one more time so now you have two layers and on that middle one with the roto brush you want to apply the effect called s warp bubble drag that right there all right so now we got this cool simple bubble effect it doesn't take too much and you can see it kind of just like follows the car and you can do like a lot of other stuff with it you can change the amplitude whatever looks cool i've just left it at default but you can always mess around with it you can change the z distance right here i'm just gonna leave that at one but yeah that's just the basics of this cool plugin that you can use you can obviously add a lot more effects to it, like glint. Alright, so there you go. Hope you guys liked the tutorial, and if you did, make sure to subscribe for more videos in the future. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue making After Effects tutorials, or if I'm going to just stick with Final Cut Pro. I know After Effects tutorials are pretty complicated at some time, so I might just stick to Final Cut, but... Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these kind of tutorials and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.